And as a pastor, I heard many times, especially as I was getting started in online ministry, is that why would you get on Facebook? Because it is ruining marriages. And and I heard story after story of, you know, this person meted their, you know, the person they were cheating on their spouse with through Facebook, or they reconnected with somebody from high school. How do you respond to people? Because you basically said, uh, I'm hearing that Facebook is ruining marriages. So let's move this marriage ministry onto Facebook. Um, how do you respond to people that say that Facebook is ruining marriages? Or do you think that Facebook is ruining marriages? You know, probably of the couples that I see, it's interesting, I was writing a blog about this yesterday. Of the couples that I see that, that come in for infidelity, I would guess that probably 75% of them are there because one of them reconnected with somebody on Facebook, wow. an old boyfriend or, go- or wow. girlfriend. So yeah, I think that is there. And I think that's probably pretty true in most places because uh, it's easy to connect with somebody from your past and forget the reason you know, you're not with them anymore. There was a reason you broke up with this person back there, but the grass can look greener. And so people will take that step. I I think the, our deal was, um, if that's where people are meeting, we also wanted to give, um, a positive thing about marriage in there. We wanted to be a place where people could see, uh, no matter what you're going through in your marriage, that there's healing. And so we, we designed a lot of our content too, to help people to go in, through rough times. It wasn't just, I mean, obviously the ideal is for people to want a good marriage, to want to grow their marriage, to do something that should stay positive. But a lot of marriages are in trouble. We know that from the divorce rate, uh, more divorces in the first year of marriage than there ever have been before. And so again, it was just, okay, let's get some positive things up. Maybe it'll catch somebody's eye. Maybe somebody will read a blog, read a post uh, that will encourage them to uh, to get some help, to turn things around, to not take that step into an affair. And so, uh, again, it was just trying to, uh, we couldn't find any other way where we could reach that many people. We grew over a hundred thousand very quickly on our likes mm-hmm. on Facebook at a time when that was easier to do. Uh, so that's kind of why we stayed there because that's where people were. 